Let's go to the zoo. Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm your beautiful host, Young Buffett, and today we're finally gonna be talking about CryptoZoo. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I got a cool new animation and it's really cool. And it's hopefully gonna make this number go up. And then when this number goes up, it makes my ego go up. So it's honestly just a win-win for everybody because the higher ego that I have, the more videos that I make. And uh, it's just exciting for everybody, I guess. But Honestly, I'm just going to jump right into it because I don't want to waste your guys' time too much. Uh, CryptoZoo came out with a uh, updated website and it looks fantastic. It's uh, much better than their previous one with the black screen and the egg. And it just said coming soon, soon TM. But uh, what we can do is we can take a look at this. Let's jump into the roadmap. Let's jump into the white paper. Take a look at what's different, what changed, what's exciting, and uh, how we're going to play it from here. I know a lot of people have been waiting and waiting and waiting for quite a while to see how this is going to develop. And it's taken an interesting approach. I'll use the adjective interesting. Um, and we'll see how, how we're going to play it. And honestly, uh, on this channel, what we do is we talk about investing in general. We talk about stocks. We talk about crypto. We talk about NFTs a lot. And um, it we're not married to one project, okay? So what we do is we try to navigate around and try to figure out the best places to put our money. We put a little bit of money and hopefully it grows to a lot of bit of money. And uh, that that's pretty much it. So it all begins with an egg. And you as the zookeeper, here's how it works. You guys are all familiar with this if you're new for some reason. Um, <clears throat> I have tons of videos that talk about the whole crypto zoo process. It's pretty much the same. You go to the marketplace, you purchase your eggs, and then uh, you can sell your eggs, hold on to them, or you can hatch them. And then when the egg is hatched, a basic animal is created that earns you zoo daily. Uh, at the time of this recording, that is not true, but this is all just setting up for uh, what's to come. So you can breed the two animals together and get a hybrid egg. Um, and there's also visuals here. So you have an egg, you get an animal, you breed it, and then it turns into an hybrid egg, and then it turns into a hybrid animal that then yields. So you get this egg. You can also then either sell, hold, or hatch your egg, and then you can decide whether or not to release your animal into the wild or burn it, uh, and then uh, you collect the zoo that it has been yielding. Nothing new there. Uh, that all makes sense, all straightforward. Good to see that they're sticking to the plan. Calling all zookeeper, each hatched egg is a chance for an undiscovered species, plus the first zookeeper to discover each species will receive an exclusive reward. Um, ben, ben Roth over at the Discord, he's hinted towards and talked about in uh, previous Twitter spaces and stuff that, um, oh, by the way, if you're on Twitter, definitely go follow me on Twitter um, just because I post stuff on there sometimes. But he talked about in a Twitter spaces that if you're the first person to, for example, to get this butterfly elephant thing, uh, you'll get some sort of certificate or some sort of NFT or some sort of reward or token or something. I don't know. You'll get an exclusive reward is the word that they're choosing. Um, saying that you were the first to mint that hybrid. So that's something. Uh, I don't know if there's any utility to that yet or not, but whatever. Uh, you get your egg and then the common turtle or naked mole rat, blah, 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 blockchain rant, blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. Uh, welcome to the zoo. And then this pretty much talks about where we have been and where we are going. The inception of Crypto Zoo, and then they're building their ecosystem and then uh, their token launched. And then uh, oh, they forgot to include the fact that it shot up and then it went down and now everyone's waiting and then a hatch day um it, yeah we all hatched i have a video about of my hatching we we got a, a duck and an elk and we're still holding one of the eggs unhatched 2022 coming right around the corner breeding release this is q1 all right q1 means within the first three months okay so no specific dates or anything, but in Q1, breeding release exclusive NFT for people who hatch the first type of uh, any animal, base or hybrid. Uh, we talked about that just now. And zoo yield, Q2, 
Q2, so within the next three months after the first three months, first game reveal. All right? And then uh, Q3, the next three months after the second three months, second game reveal. Then Q4, at the end of 2022, CryptoZoo enters the metaverse. Again, uh, we're not entirely sure what that means. Uh, the metaverse is a term, not a not necessarily a place. Um, is it on Sandbox? Is it on Roblox? Is it on Facebook Meta? We don't know. Hopefully, we learn a little bit more than that. There is also no mention of their bridge. I assume they're working on it. It's a very difficult task that they've taken upon themselves, but we'll see where that comes. That might be 2023. That might be... Uh, sprinkled in here somewhere it might get updated later it might just be scrapped forever we don't really know but if we hop over to their white paper uh i have a video a long time ago where we walked through their first iteration of the white paper uh, i don't believe anything really has changed um other than this last tab right here roadmap and completed milestones q4 2021 hatch day um Oh wait, Q4 2021 is right now. So within the next few weeks or so, okay, December is almost over. They are going to introduce the marketplace. Now, if you've been following along in this channel, uh, then you know the marketplace was a huge catalyst for us. Okay, this roadmap was a catalyst and the marketplace is a huge catalyst. The hatch day was a catalyst. There's a ton of different catalysts that we've been tracking. Um, but the reason why the marketplace is a catalyst is because we are watching the price of the zoo token and people were always asking when, it, when is it going to go up? When Lambo? Well, you got to watch out for catalysts and people always said you need some sort of utility. You need a reason to buy the zoo token. That's why the zoo token went close to 400% gains right when zoo first came out is because everybody wanted the zoo token so then they could buy eggs with it at a 10 percent discount there was a reason to buy it a reason to hold it a reason to use it and a reason to burn it okay and this marketplace is another version of that but before you go and just jump all dump all your money into that be careful because now you have to ask yourself why would anybody buy an egg why would anybody buy a an animal right now Okay, because Q1 is when breeding releases. So you could have all of the animals in the, in the zoo system. You can own everything. You could buy everything, right? But you're just going to be sitting on it until Q1 for the breeding and for the yield. Now, if you're the type of person who wants to be early, that, that here's your chance. If you're the type of person who'd rather be late than wrong, and you kind of hold off a little bit. You kind of wait. Currently, I don't think there's a huge demand for people to jump in and start buying up all these animals. There has been no real marketing effort because obviously, why would you market something that doesn't have any, any, any sort of utility like breeding or, or yield or a game? Okay. My assumption, and again, this whole channel is just me talking assumptions, me documenting my journey and all these things. My assumption is that marketing will start to ramp up at the end of Q1 and close to Q2, if not starting just Q2. Does that make sense? Because they are going to need something to do marketing around. Our boys aren't going to come out and say, we had an egg pre-sale and then we hatched our eggs and now you can buy and sell your eggs people are gonna be like so why so <laughs> uh so we uh we need we need a reason boys and uh the marketplace is not in my opinion gonna have a crazy impact on the price of zoo quite yet it will once people have a demand, once people have a reason. And uh, Q1 and Q2 are going to be your reasons. And for that reason, 
I'm scaling down. I can use my money in the meantime somewhere a little bit more appealing, somewhere faster paced. In the crypto world, a week feels like a month, a month feels like a year. And when we're talking in quarter scales, Q1, Q2, etc., it feels like we're talking years, right? So, long term, extremely bullish. I want to I want to preface this or I, I already said everything. I want to end this by saying this is all really, really good, okay? Because it tackles a lot of the problems that people were thinking like, oh, this is a rug pull. This is a pump and dump. This is none of those things because look how slow it's going. So that's a good thing. They're working. They're developing. Good for them. I'm I'm happy. This is great because they're eventually... Q2, Q3, Q4, going to have an awesome project, all right? So, again, their goal stays the same. They want to make it accessible to the mainstream. This project will be open source for the world to join. There's going to be other people who come in and create games. So just because there's one game in 2022 doesn't mean, or I mean Q2 2022 and then another game Q3 2022 doesn't mean that there's not going to be like a hundred different games to play in between that time as other people start to develop on their open source. So I hope all that makes sense. Overall, we're still holding our egg. We're still holding our NFTs. We got some zoo, but keep your eye out. Make sure you're definitely subscribed because we're definitely going to be talking about all of the different projects a lot of different fun stuff out there to start investing in in the meantime while we wait for crypto zoo to do something really really exciting and i know they will it's gonna be fun with that i love you and i'll see you in the next video